Hello everybody, I'm back. It is Nicole Danielle, your sexy stage four colon cancer with meds to the liver patient. How are you guys doing today? It is chemo Wednesday, so I got my little handy dandy as I always call it. Had to kind of maneuver and fix it around because it's, the bags are too small, but we're not gonna go into that. <laughs> But I just want to come by and give you guys a little bit of inspiration, motivation to keep going. No matter what you're going through, please have a positive attitude. I know it's, you know, easier said than done, but I live by that. I've been doing that ever since I was diagnosed um, January 26th of 2020. So that I keep up that attitude. But yes, we are human. We will cry. We will, you know, get upset sometimes. But just always, you know, think back and always, if you, you know, you say prayers or whatever you do, just, you know, try to take that out of your system, out of your energy, your surroundings. Make sure that the people that you are surrounded by are positive as well because they do affect as far as your positivity with their negative energy. So just make sure you're protecting yourself. You know, they still have COVID and monkeypox. And if you're going through this, you have to go to the store. Because just like I had to go into the store to get my um, medication. And I had to, um, <clears throat> oh God, sorry. It was a fruit fly. And I don't know how to get rid of that one little one. But excuse me for that. But yes, you know, just make sure that you're protecting yourself. Make sure you're sanitizing, using gloves if you need to. And, all, and also, again, make sure if you um, have an appointment to go have your colonoscopy done, whether you're 30, 45, 65, whatever, just go have it done, you know, just in case you never know what the report will come back saying. And if it does come back saying as far as that you have colon cancer, then, you know, you go from the steps from there and then you find, you know, you a good doctor, oncologist, excuse me, and a surgeon, Oncolo which is oncology as well, <clears throat> excuse me, and if you have to do radiation, you know, just look up all this information online. There's different sites you can go to, but make sure you go going to where it's predominantly about cancer, because if not, they'll be feeding you some information that may be untrue. But you just need to, you know, also write your notes down. So when you go to your first um, visit with your oncologist, you know, you have questions that you need answered and understand as far as what's best for you and go over that with them and make sure that, you know, it's an agreement on both sides. Don't let them be, you know, leading everything because you, like I said in my previous videos, you always have to be an advocate for yourself, no matter whether you have a wonderful doctor, you know, doctor, excuse me, doctors that I have, a whole team of doctors, I am still vocal. I still, you know, give them what I think or how I feel and everything about certain things. And, you know, we make, you know, some a decision to where we both would be satisfied as far as for the outcome. Um, my number went up just a little bit, but I'm still in a normal range. I'm at 5.2 now. So I have to watch as far as what I'm eating again and what I'm doing. <clears throat> that can aggravate that to make it go up because I don't want it to go out the normal stage. But, you know, it is still in the normal stage even though it went up to 5.2 from 4.7. Because I was 4.6 and 4.7, then when they checked it on yesterday, it was 5.2. But everything else is looking great. I have to have a PET scan done sometime this month. I think it's the 22nd, one of those, just to make sure that, you know, everything is going well as far as with, you know, the radiation treatment that I have received in January. And I think the last time was in March, if I'm not mistaken. And just also to make sure as far as the, you know, the tumors in my liver, like I said, the tumors that are in my um, colon, just make sure everything is not going in the wrong direction because yes, that can happen. So you do need to try to, you know, change your diet up, try to look at different um, alternatives as far as for, excuse me, if you want to be a vegan or, you know, as far as, um, oh God, I can't even think of the word. I'm having chemo break. I'm sorry, but natural, yes, natural. As far as natural herbs and everything that could assist you in your healing. And then, you know, and also get a good book that talks about it and just, you know, make notes and everything. Just, you know, be careful. Just make sure that you're eating right. Eat, you know, when you're diagnosed with it, for one thing, you're not going to be able to eat meat. And <clears throat> excuse me, some people still do, but it's not good for your colon because it takes so long for it to digest that meat 
in order to move your bowels and that, you know, hinders as far as your healing when it comes to colon cancer. But um, also make sure that you guys are, you know, doing your mental health check. If you need to go see a counselor and have them, you know, to <laughs> refer you to someone else that you can speak to, maybe on a weekly basis. I actually have a counselor that I speak to now every Thursday and we go over as far as my needs and how I'm feeling, you know, what's going on in my life. So if you do, you know, encounter what you need to as far as express your feelings and get a little, you know, better clarity as far as with mental health, then, you know, just let them know because they can refer you to someone that is great. Also make sure, you know, if your family and friends, just make sure that you are also, you know, being positive when you're around them. And don't put too much on them that they can't handle because sometimes what we're going through is a heck of a lot for us. But just imagine trying, you know, people don't understand and then putting that energy on them, you know, just try to minimize as far as stuff that you share with people so that you won't put the heaviness of what you're going through on them because it's already heavy on you. We know. So that's why I say always keep, you know, try to keep a positive attitude about everything and no matter what you're going through just like i said just please you know keep going keep fighting you're gonna win this race you just got to be strong make sure your mental is strong make sure the people that are around you are strong and giving you positive energy versus negative energy and that could be your children if your children are giving you negative energy you know if they're adults you know you got to cut it out if they're teenagers and you know younger than that's different but when they're adults you know they are living a certain life as adults they're not children anymore and they can bring a lot of negativity to you know to your um house and to your energy and everything so it doesn't matter who it is don't you know daughter son sister brother mother father just make sure that they understand how much you need to be have them be positive when they're speaking with you, when they're visiting you, that you don't need to put anything that they're going through on top of what you're going through. And I know sometimes, you know, when you say you want to, as far as listen to them, yes, but don't take all that energy in because sometimes it could get to a toxic point and you might just need to suggest that they go see, you know, seek help for that through as far as counseling or, you know, as far as what they need because they may need to speak to someone and they may need to go on medication and they don't need to put that on you because that's going to hinder as far as your health and your healing. So, you know, just make sure you guys, I hope you're enjoying this sunny, sunny. Oh my God, it's so sunny out here in Georgia. Just make sure you are enjoying that. Make sure you, you are living your life like there's no tomorrow because you never know what can happen. So make sure you enjoy your life, enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, your children, whatever, you know, and if you all need to go to counseling together or separately, do what you need to do to just make sure that everything is going well with you. So I just wanted to give you all you know, those nuggets and, you know, just to see how you guys are doing because it is, like I said, chemo Wednesday. I still have energy thus far, but I'm about to um, hopefully eat something soon so that I can go ahead and lay down and get a little bit of a rest as far as a nap because I'm always trying to be busy. My mind is racing and sometimes I don't even you know, get a good night's sleep because my mind is racing with so much I want to do that I actually have to take time doing. I could probably still do certain things, but certain things I can't because of my health. So I just have to make sure that I'm trying to tune out and trying to, you know, <clears throat> disconnect as far as with social media, my phone, my iPad, my computer, just to make sure that I have that mental time for myself. And I, you know, do the meditation in the morning and I try to do it at night. I didn't do my yoga this morning, but I am going to do that because it does help as far as with cancer. There's a book called um, Yoga for Cancer Patients, which is just a great book. And it shows you as far as different, um, I guess they call them, um, Oh God, I can't think of the word I want to say, positions that you can do that can aid in your health because it, it explains as far as which ones for certain things and how it helps. So yeah, so if you're interested in that, I know they sell it on um, Amazon 
and they probably should sell it at any bookstore, but it's called um, Yoga for Cancer, which is a great book. So again, guys, just have, um, you know, the rest of your Wednesday, just enjoy it. Like I said, just make sure you are happy, you're smiling, you're getting through this day because yes, you know, we want to be granted another day, which is tomorrow, but let's do what we need to do as far as for today. And guys, I just love, you know, getting on here and sharing things with you guys. I wish I could do it more often, but sometimes I'm not feeling well, so I don't, you know, do it. But, you know, I, I know that, I can still offer something even when I'm not feeling well. So I said I'm going to try to do at least two to three videos for you guys. Just, you know, because I just want everybody to get better. I just want everybody to get through what you're going through and to be a better person, you know, on the other side at the end when you're doing great. Because we all can make sure that we help in a healing, not just, you know, rely on the chemotherapy. Make sure you're doing what you need to do also to make sure that, that's as far as working with the chemotherapy to make you better, to have better health, to beat, you know, cancer or whatever disease you may have or what you're going through. So I love you guys. I thank you so much for watching my videos. I thank you for the support. I thank you for as far as the likes, the subscriptions. I thank you for, you know, anything you've done for me to try to uplift me as well. I thank you guys for it. And I will continue to make these videos. And if you know of anyone that needs to watch any of the videos, that they need a little bit of, you know, motivation or inspiration, please give them, you know, I'm Nicole Zanel on my YouTube channel. So you could just type that in and all my stuff will just come up. So just share it with them and share with people that, it don't have to be just colon cancer. It could be, you know, any cancer, any disease, if they want to just get on and get a little bit of inspiration. But I am so blessed and I'm so happy to be where I'm at. And I wouldn't change anything because I know that this was something I had to go through, a test, and I'm going to make sure that I pass that test. So, you know, thank you, God, for sparing my life and making sure that I'm here because I've lost so many family members from the time I've been diagnosed up to now. And several of them did have cancer. So it's a little, little hard, especially with my sister, who I was very close to when she passed away on April the 19th. So guys, just please make sure, you know, if you're going through depression, if you don't understand as far as what's going on, please don't ignore the signs because, or try to think that, oh no, it's nothing, it, it'll go away. No, it, that's not how it works. But please, please just make sure you are listening to your body, paying attention to your symptoms, because your body will tell you, just like your body will tell you when you need rest. It's gonna tell you when something is wrong, and then you need to go ahead and seek, you know, as far as finding a physician, oncologist, whatever you need to do, a GI doctor, just to check and make sure everything is functioning as it should, to make sure that you are as healthy as you can be. So guys, have a wonderful, wonderful rest, oh, excuse me, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful rest of your Wednesday, and I am Nicole Danelle, and I am out. Mwah.